into a cage, a ring with someone who is a warrior who's fought 300 fights yeah. and they are at the same age level as you and you look at them and you go, this guy is a, yeah. a legit killer, he's a professional. What does that do to your confidence moving into that? Yeah, it's quite, it's quite daunting. Um, uh, back when I was fighting those, 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 my first like A class and staying around there, the, I get di- like like M and M. I get the diarrhea and I get the mum's spaghetti. <laughs> 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 and then um, yeah, you know, like in that bed when you're laying there going, if I do this, he'll do that, and if I do this, he kicks so hard, and just having that that. And then usually the the fight starts, and then majority of the time. Um, it's not anything that you had in your head and, and then they feel pain and they get tired and um, you can feel that was a fight going on. But sometimes you do meet that guy. I fought a guy whose name was uh, Yodsin Gwai and he's currently like one of the pound for pound guys ever. Uh, we ended up fighting three times and the first time I was overconfident. He was only 19. It was his first fight overseas. Um, and then usually I'm quite, uh, my hands are my advantage. So I thought I'll just give him the old one twos. So it was the first time I, I'd, I'd throw, throw four punches and he goes, slip, slip, under, and he'd come back and hit me with an elbow. That was, that was surely a fluke. So I'm standing there going, oh, that sucks. Um, I try again, and then miss, 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 boom again. And then um, the first time we fought, he, he faked the front kick. So I went to I push it out of the way, and he came over the top and hit me in the head um, with a perfect neck kick, and then uh, dropped me for an eight count. And the sensation was like six blokes had picked him up both sides, just slam into the canvas. And um, as I'm laying there watching the lights do this, it's like, what the hell was that? And then um, ended up finishing the fight, went the full five rounds, but uh, it wasn't until I watched the replay that uh, I'd noticed how I fought and the after fight speech. I didn't remember spam after fight speech. I was like, hearing words for the first time going, why would I say that for? <laughs> <laughs> um, but the, I fought him, I, got, I fought him again in Singapore and he, and he beat me again, knocked me down round one, knocked me around two. Uh, went the distance again. And then uh, about a year or so later, I got the opportunity to rematch him for the third time. And I remember walking to the ring just thinking, oh, I'm going to hospital. There's no way I'm not going. I'm getting paid a lot of money, so that compensates me going to hospital, but I'm still going to hospital. <laughs> and I won. So I mean, I'd rather I won. So it was a tough fight. I got cut another two more cuts, and another one through my eyebrow, another one through my cheek. But um, from the, the smallest of margins, I, I, I faced my adversity and then got the win. So it made it a little more better just to knowing that not only the win, but I, I faced my fears and... Even, as much as I didn't want to do it, I forced myself to do it, and then to, to come out on top, it was like, you can you can achieve what you set out your mind to sometimes. It must be a crazy experience, like walking into a fight knowing that you're going to end up in hospital. Yeah. Like when I was playing footy, it was like, oh, geez, I hope I don't get hurt, I hope I don't get in a fight, I hope I don't break something or get cut or whatever. Yep. Going into a fight, you know that's going to happen I know, without a doubt. Without a doubt. How do you eventually even prepare? When you, even when you win. Even when you win, yeah. You're you still win. battered, bruised, you can't see the next day. Yeah. What, what, how do you prepare yourself for that? Is it just time doing it over and over again? Uh, it, yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely experience. Um, um, and money. If it's good money, it's like oh, well, I'm, I'm willing to go to hospital or get stitched up or or whatever I have to do to know that my family is going to be we've got enough money for rent for the next couple of months, or we've got food on the table, or we can live comfortably for the next few months. Um, I'm willing to put myself through whatever just mm. so we can live nice. What, um, what made you do it in the start? You're, thir- you, you're 13 fights in and you go over to Thailand. Yeah. And there's no money. No money. But did you see that as an opportunity for yourself to go, okay, this is how I create this future house for my future family, the ones I don't even know yet. You know, this is the way I have a job. Yes. Um, at 19, the opportunity ar- ar- arose. And I-, I never went in there with the expectations of being rich, but I just wanted to have the opportunity to, to be somebody. Um, I wanted to be famous. I wanted the I wanted people to look at me going, he's a good fighter. Um, and and I've said this multiple times, and people are probably hear me saying, but uh, to we only had that this time frame to be on this planet. So if I can leave a little bit of a footprint, and when I pass and have have my kids tell their kids, your grandpa was a good a multiple world champion, and just to have that little bit of a legacy. So um, even young kids when they're thinking about going on the sport and if they go on YouTube and they, and I can be that kid that, I can be that one that inspires that kid to follow their dream. Mm. 
Like he fought the tires, he beat the tires. Well, if he can do it, I can do it. A lot of people, when you talk about, okay, I want to be famous or I want to have a legacy, the people, a lot of people in the in the public spotlight go, they never they never touch on that. They never go, oh yeah, that's what I want to do. But you know, that's that's a lot of the drive for a lot of people. They want to be remembered. Yeah, for and sure. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Yeah, I think that's sure. a that's a real motivating factor for a lot of people who are successful. Yeah. What do you think about the rise of combat?